Albert Einstein, the man who redefined human understanding of the universe. He once said, the person who follows the crowd will usually go no further than the crowd. The person who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever seen before. CitizenCon 2947. A new era began with the introduction of a new ship, the Consolidated Outland Pioneer, a flying production facility to support building outposts in unexplored territory, close to known landmarks or in close proximity to rich resource deposits. Further, it will help to build a base on land claimed by its owner. The ship itself was not designed to be pretty, but to perform several functions to make sure materials can be received refined and tweaked and transformed into different modules to build a base. Five years after the announcement, buyers with pre-orders in their hands are still waiting for its final release. We reached out to Consolidated Outland to get more information on the actual status. With the upcoming Intergalactic Aerospace Exposition or IAE, the universe premier spaceship show and convention, we wanted to know the actual status of the ship and maybe if it will be released. Silas Kerner, CEO and Head of Design of Consolidated Outland was so nice to answer some of our questions. We called him directly at the headquarters of Consolidated Outland on Rytiv in the Bremen system. Good morning Mr. Kerner, or is it afternoon? I have no idea to be honest. This is quite a distance to the Bremen system. Good morning Mr. Long. thanks for having me. Yes, it is a great distance. One of the reasons I'm so glad to talk to you and your listeners today is a lot to talk about. So my first question, of course, is how is the Pioneer coming along? Or is it ready for delivery? No, unfortunately not. We had several supply issues. Components have been closed for several years, as you know. And then, of course, the technical side. Nobody really knew what the best way of making it work was because there's a lot of limitations you are working up against. Like, if we are going to make this floating factory, the footprint of it is going to be massive. Which means that the landing spots need to be massive. So we decided to have that arm just pulled out. It'd be a massive arm, but when you are maneuvering it, it won't be as massive. Figuring out the entire ship going, and how all the robot arms are going to disappear into the body, the production lines and slides, conserve space. Where do all the materials go? It was a really unique amount of challenges. Daunting sometimes, but definitely we've got a technical solution and we are at the finish line. This is very interesting. Were you able to test the ship already? The prototype has already been built. It has recently been tested. One of our most important milestones was reached. Can I ask, where was it tested? Yes, of course, we had the pleasure to use a secret location provided by the UAE on Bremen 3. So, what can you tell us about the test site? Well, it was a great success. We made sure the ship felt fortified. It needed to be designed in a fashion that you can, well, defend what you're doing. So, if you study the loudness on the ground, it kind of feels a little bit like a prison yard. You've got this kind of outer pulse with visibility over the whole ship. The captain's bridge and where the architect is can overlook the whole process and they still have 100% visibility over the landscape on one side. So that was incredible challenging but really fun, you know, thing to work on. Once you get this first ideas in, the rest kind of grows itself, right? I personally think it's a sign of really good ship development. Wow, uh, very nice. Uh, did you try to build the outpost? Uh, and how easy was it to build the outpost? The creation of the outpost is actually quite simple. When we dealt with it, we basically decided that since the ship is going to land and give the owner such a unique experience, we wanted to feel as kind of like a home base. Like a command and conquer style base that lands where you... I mean, you bought down and it has to be laborious. You can just land for a second and then just fly off and do your thing again. Now, this is an intense process. It's also a lot of money, a lot of resources. 
A ship is not super fast, it's not super agile, and it just does one thing and that's production. So when it lands, as you've probably seen it, it falls open, and the two manufacturing sites basically get exposed. It takes resources from the resource base all the way through those two manufacturing lines. Kind of like how things get crafted in a car plant. And then it puts them in a kind of magic oven. Because we obviously showing how the outposts get made is not really efficient in terms of how the engine runs. So we feed the parts into a construction module. And that takes all those parts on the right side. There's a moving line where raw materials get crafted into a door and then moves through a line of production robots. After it is semi-complete, it moves into the oven. And then in the oven, magic takes place. And out comes this outpost. And that then gets placed by autonomous arms in a spot that you designate, basically. I'm really happy with it. Wow, awesome. Any idea when you will be able to deliver the first units to buyers? Not yet. We hope that we will be able to do that in the next two years. But stay tuned. We'll keep you informed. Also, I think during the next IAE event, we'll have more units available. This is important to support the funding of the ship and to be able to give it the final touches. Okay, good. Um, will the price be the same or does it come with a plot of land like last time? I think the price will be the same, but don't quote me on that. Unfortunately, the land sale is controlled by the UEE and other governmental institutions. We have no saying in this, I'm sorry. Understand. Thanks for all the information, Mr. Kerner. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. Have a great day and greetings to Stelford, your hometown. No, uh, thank you, Jack, and thank you for being so patient with our process and stay tuned. You guys gonna enjoy this ship. I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. But anyway, I wish you a good day and talk to you soon. Goodbye. Well, that was Silas Kerner, CEO and Head of Design at Consolidated Outland. What a great interview and this was actually the first interview with Silas ever. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the verse. I'm Jack Long, your host of Little Jack Blaze. Be respectful.